gold so far for the day traded with a modest bearish bias as we discussed in our asia and europe session update that below 1954 we can see 1948 levels and precisely it has achieved the levels right now it's trading at 1949 at the same time crude oil has been trading with the bullish bias and has seen now 76.8 and that is what was expected in our analysis first analysis for the day so in order to get the live updates do subscribe to the channel and yes do like share and comment let's start in this analysis first we look into gold followed with crude oil watch now see firstly on the early charts gold has given lower highs here and right now see a uh, higher lows the previous lows was at 1944 45 it has achieved 1947 and it is trying to retrace one cannot confirm it a retracement but yes it is trading outside bollinger band so trying to fall back within the bands also if you look at what gold has done it is see this was the breakout and it has erased all the gains it has come down to the same level. so far yes it is trading with the bearish bias but however it is still not willing to move with the same bearish momentum as what we had seen in the previous candle now it is trying to retrace a bit the stock has taken back to bottom and oversold levels macd has crossed over trading with divergence area trading bearish as of now rsi at bottom as well and if you look at two hour charts on the two hour chart see three straight bearish candle and one bigger bearish candle this suggests once the price stays below 1944 you have to stay short you have to sell here and expect it to drop more towards 1940 and 1934 32 zone yes it can drop here if it stays below 1944 certainly more bearish momentum is going to prevail here but right now what i see it as a consolidation what i see is at a uh, you can say it might stay within the zone it might try to retrace a bit on the upside stock has taken over so macd is just on the verge of a crossover for a sell entry it is trying to trade in red rsi almost at bottom coming to 3 hour charts if you look at 3 hour charts see lower highs and lower lows so it is still staying bearish the bottom here is somewhere below 1940 levels thus we have to be watchful cautious here staying below 1944 certainly the bearish momentum will accelerate and we can see in 1940 1934 levels as well stock has taken here oversold macd here trying to converge crossover for a sell it has retraced here now it is trying to enter into a selling position but it has not yet crossed over hence it has just converged and possibly we may see diverging again and staying bullish from here rsi flat at bottom coming to 4 on the 4 hour charts yes one and two red candles in succession increasing body size increasing bearishness i will wait for a breakout below 1944 below which certainly you can say that the bears will take over completely and we can look forward to further lows from and so far as long as it stays above 1944 levels the possibility of it to consolidate between this zone exist more where 1960 63 is the upper limit and 1940 5 or 44 is the lower limit it can try to retrace in the zone it is almost now seeing the bottom here see why i am saying so you can see the double bottom levels here it creates a certainly stronger a stronger base here for the uh, downward move however if you look at this formation it has yielded lower highs and come towards same zone so i will wait for it to break below 1944 if it sustains below 1944 just stay short The stock is sitting here, looking downwards, trying to stay bearish. MACD is on the verge of a crossover. It has not yet crossed over. It is still in green. RSI almost at bottom. Coming to the daily charts, if you look at the daily charts, the day started on a flat note, and it since then it has stayed bearish. It has dropped, and now has seen 1947 levels. Also, this is the bottom of the Bollinger Bands here. Also, if you look at the momentum here right now, see it is given a flat top here. The probability for it to reverse completely also exists. But then first it has to break past by the first hurdle at 1954-56, and then at 1960. These are the two levels. Yes, if gold stays above these two, you can say that the prices are reversing, and we can look forward to 63 and then higher levels. Else, right now it is still in the consolidation zone. Neither bearish nor. Bearish. If you look at the stock, I think this has come to oversold levels. Now this is only the indication that MACD crossing over at the top, trading with divergence. This suggests that the bears are still there in gold, and it can pull the prices further down. Because see, uh, I have shown many times in my every analysis that this crossover has come at a higher level. This could try to pull the prices little down, and it may try to stay bearish. However, if you look at, see, it has seen a little divergence, and hence. probably a convergence candle means a greener candle can appear rsi is also staying bearish looking downward so now we have seen the charts we have seen the indicators time for me to define the trading levels and strategy such that you can but before i give you the trading levels if you want to learn this art of trading 
Enroll in the mentorship batch. The twenty seventh batch is going to start on twentieth of November. Learn this art. Learn the tools, techniques, and strategies which can help you identify profitable trades with ease and trade profitably. Reach out to me for more details or visit the platform Forex Wonder. This is the platform here, and on the first page itself, you will find the feature tab where you can see the details of the batch, the timings, the curriculum, and the services which you'll get along with the payments tab and the registration details. So do join the mentorship batch. Reserve your seats now. Also, we have started the webinar series. The next weekly webinar is going to get conducted tomorrow. Thus, enroll for the webinar. It is going to definitely give you insights which you are, which will add to your trading decisions coming week. Also, this platform has much more for you, whether be it the economic calendar, the charts, the consultation where you can book a call with me and you can discuss any of your if you need any guidance or consultation. And yes, the important part is the vibrant community of the traders where you can discuss and take an informed decision. Thus, visit the platform forexwonder dot com. And for the day, I will recommend you to buy here at nineteen fifty four. Beyond nineteen fifty four, we can expect a rise towards nineteen fifty eight sixty zone. The first rise, and beyond nineteen sixty, it is going to reverse completely towards. In fact, it can move towards nineteen seventy as well. Thus, above nineteen sixty, you have to trade with caution today. We can see a, a complete reverse. On the downside, the possibility of it to drop exists if it stays below 1944. The preceding low, the yesterday's low, if it breaks past those lows, yes, you can say that the prices are turning bearish, and we can look forward to 1940, 1938 zone, which is going to be the first support levels. Below 1940, 1938, the next target is 1934, and if it breaks 1934, we can say that the prices are turning bearish and a major fall can be expected. Thus, take your trades accordingly. Now let's have a look at crude. Now see, crude oil today has bounced back strongly, and it is still trading in this retracement zone where the highs are at seventy-seven and seventy-seven point five. Yes, if any point of time you see the price is staying above seventy-seven point five, we can say that the bulls are taking over, and then seventy-eight and seventy-nine levels will be seen. The stock I stick on the hourly charts is overbought, while MACD is still divergent and bullish, and RSI is looking up. Likewise, on the two-hour chart, see the bullishness is getting diminished. But you you should note that the preceding candle is coming with a tail, and this candle might try to hit towards seventy seven, seventy seven point two, and then seventy seven point five levels. Yes, it can try to achieve those levels, and below seventy seven point five, it can indicate a complete reversal. But right now, it is still it is still yielding lower highs, lower lows, and thus it is only above seventy seven, seventy seven point two zone. You can say that the bulls are taking over, and beyond seventy five is complete. Seventy seven point five is the complete reversal. Stock I stick overbought, MACD divergent and bullish, RSI looking upwards, staying bullish, coming to three. Likewise on the three hour charts, the preceding candles yielding tails and it is trying to stay bullish. Seventy seven, seventy seven point two levels might get achieved, and in fact we can see it is staying above seventy seven point five, which can open the doors for it to stay bullish towards seventy eight and upwards level. Stock I stick back to overbought, MACD divergent and bullish looking upwards, RSI is looking upwards as well. Coming to four hours. Likewise, on the four hour chart, the only observation here is the lower highs. Yes, prices are divergent from the twenty period moving average. It is converged, thus staying above seventy seven, seventy seven point two, and seventy seven point five zone. This is the zone where we are going to see maximum resistance. And thus, those who wants to trade with caution, we have to wait for seventy seven point five. Those who are willing to risk a little can buy at seventy seven, but then seventy seven point two is the immediate resistance, and then seventy seven point five. Beyond this, certainly oil will turn bullish towards seventy eight and plus plus levels. The stock is still rising. MACD crossing over here, trading with divergence and bullishness, looking upwards. RSI has come out of the oversold zone as well. Coming to the day now on the daily chart, so far lower highs here, higher lows here, zone of consolidation. It has to come out of this. It has to then break past the double top, and then we can say that the prices are turning bullish. And yes, remember uh, this is the second greener candle in making, so this could. Continue towards, in fact, further upside. If it stays above seventy-seven, you can say that we may see further accelerating bullishness, and specifically above seventy-seven point five, we can see the price is moving towards twenty-period moving average. If not today, possibly next week when the moving averages will come down, it may try to reach. If you look at the daily stock, I think this is oversold. The MACD is divergent and bearish, and RSI. Thus, looking at this, I will recommend you to sell oil today only below seventy-six levels, below which you can expect seventy-five point eight, seventy-five point five, and seventy-five as three major support levels. If it draws below seventy-five, you can say that the prices are turning, and then directly it will lead to seventy-four. Chances for which appear to be less. 
on the upside i will expect it to rise if it stays above 70 seven levels but then critically it has got the resistance at 77.2 to 77.5 is staying above 77.5 stay bullish here we are going to look forward to 78 and 79 levels if not today possibly uh, with the next trading sessions it may try to achieve those levels take your positions accordingly trade with a stop loss and a trailing stop loss like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch and signals channel join my webinar reach out to me for any of your trading or trading queries my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you